Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this quick tutorial, I just wanted to cover two different methods when exporting from Lightroom. One that's gonna be a direct export that will get you ready for uh, putting your photo on a website or social media. And the second is going to be essentially bringing it, the ability to bring it into Photoshop where you can further adjust your image. So first we're gonna cover exporting from Lightroom. So we have our image that's completely finished. You guys saw in the last video, we edited this up. And we're gonna come down here to our image and just right click and we're gonna to go to export and export. Now within the export settings, I'm actually gonna cover this really quickly. You have a few different options like export with previews, um, sorry, with previous, um, burn full size JPEGs, export to DNG for email hard drive. You really don't have to work, worry too much about these. Um, the nice thing about these settings here, especially export to DNG, is it actually allows you to export with your preset settings. So if you were say exporting, maybe you wanted to get this preset on mobile, you would export it with the DNG, um, including the preset data. So when you bring it into Lightroom Mobile, you can now import that photo and you can copy the settings directly from there. But for the purpose of this um, tutorial, we're just gonna be exporting for our website. So we're gonna go to export. Once you click that, you'll be met with this dialog box here. So we can specify a folder. So we'll just do the tutorial right here, select folder. And uh, you can essentially put this to any path you want. And here you'll also be able to name it, um, sorry, uh, you'll also be able to name it here. You can also decide if you want to put it in a subfolder, which basically means that wherever your directory is, it's just going to make another folder inside that directory. And you can name that subfolder uh, tutorial. You can name it whatever you want. Uh, next, we have file naming. So this is where you can just name your photo. So we'll call this car. And we have custom settings. So these are essentially where you can do your batch exports. So if you're exporting more than one photo, you can tell Lightroom to add a um, numeric numbering sequence to the end of your file name. So I have a custom setting because I like the underscore, but you can just use a default like the dash original file number where basically it'll put a dash here instead. But if you want to get this custom setting, say you have this one selected, you can come down to edit and you can just change this right here to underscore and I believe uh, save current settings as new preset and you can name your preset but I've already done that so I'm not going to do that and you'll just hit done and that's going to save your custom settings right here so next we have video which we're not dealing with since there's no video files after that we'll have file settings so this is where you choose the uh, type of file you're trying to save out as well as your quality so for the sake of this tutorial we're going to be saving a JPEG um, now, if you're printing, sending something off to be printed like a poster, you're going to be want to use something like TIFF or um, PNG, I believe, works as well. Uh, PSD, that's a Photoshop document, wouldn't worry about that. Um, same with Original and DNG. Original is great if you're just trying to export the raw file as well. Now, over here, we got our quality. Of course, you want that to 100%. And next we have our image size. So this is where we're going to be controlling the size of our image. Now, personally, I just like to swap out the long edge. So that is going to be this right here, this edge. So the longest edge, if you are if you have a landscape photo, it's going to be the longest edge once again. And basically, if this is for Instagram, I would pick something like 1350, which is going to make a um, length, a, the short edge will be about uh, 1080. So that is Instagram's preferred dimensions. But you can, of course, go through these settings if you want to just specify specific width and height, dimension, short edge, megapixels, and you can even set a percentage. So an example of that would be this, fo this uh, photo here is 3577 by 4471. So we can say we want to save a file that's 70% of this, and it will essentially make a file that is that size. But for the sake of this, we're going to go back to long edge because we're going to be saving this for Instagram. Output sharpening, I wouldn't worry anything about that because normally I like to add my sharpening inside here and not really add anything like this. But if you are exporting, that's for something that's going to be printed, I would recommend maybe testing out these options because they are pre-saved by Lightroom for that specific thing. Um, next, we have metadata. So I don't really touch metadata too much, but you can go into copyright information if you would like. 
After that, we have watermarking, which pretty straightforward. You can edit your edit your own watermark or just add a simple watermark. And basically what that will do is just, whoops, it's just add a watermark in the bottom part of all of your images that are exported. I personally do this when I'm sending a bunch of previews to a client where they are going to be selecting the ones that they like. So we're just gonna come back down here and uncheck watermark because we don't need that and sharpening watermark check and last but not least we have post processing don't worry about this because we're not really you know you can choose to after after you export you can open it in a certain application but this is really not anything you have to worry too much about but that's pretty much it for exporting with Lightroom. Um, pretty straightforward settings after you're done here you're just gonna hit export now at the top you can of course determine your export path, um, which we already did here. I like to keep it on hard drive because I'm always exporting hard drive. I don't know who's gonna export to a DVD, whatever. But it's, it's an option if you want it there. Um, anyways, at the end, once you're done going through this, you're just gonna hit export. But I'm not gonna do that because now we're gonna go into the second option. So I'm just gonna hit cancel. Now the second option is essentially an export that just brings it into Photoshop. Um, very straightforward from Photoshop you'll then export it either back into Lightroom or you'll just export it from Photoshop so what we're gonna be doing is right click on our image we're gonna go to edit in and edit in Adobe Photoshop 2021 depending on the image size will uh, determine how long it takes to open now once you're inside Photoshop you have a couple options now we're gonna be going further in depth into Photoshop in the actual Photoshop course or workshop but what you can do a nice thing in Photoshop say you have your image and you uh, make a change to it we're just going to use our brush tool and I'm just gonna draw on it beautiful drawing you know what we'll, we'll highlight this area and make an uh, nice arrow cool so once you're done that if you hit control s it's going to save it and it's actually going to open it back into Lightroom so I use this technique to bring my photo from Photoshop back into Lightroom where I'll then go in and add things like grain and vignetting at the very end where I'll then bring it back into Photoshop for export because I personally like Photoshop's safer web options as opposed to using Lightroom's export but that is pretty much it for exporting from Lightroom, guys. I hope this helped, and I will catch you in the next one.